I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bachelor. I'm Brock. I'm Kyle. And this is your Friday morning newscast. The unseasonable winter has left a lot of people confused. With very small amounts of snow and warm temperatures, this year's se winter season has been one in a million. And included were devastating tornadoes, and our condolences goes to all those affected by them. We now go to Mr. Messman with his opinion on this year's winter weather. Why do you think the winter has been so mild? There are these solar flares that are blowing past the Earth at millions of miles an hour, and it's pushing us off our axis. It's insane! Actually, it has to do with the cooling and warming patterns of the ocean. The jet stream has been pushed up more north than it usually is, and if you look at other parts of the world, there's been record snowfall while we've experienced little. They're nuts. It's the aliens. Aliens are coming and putting carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, thus causing the Earth to be warmer. It's the Mayan calendar. It's the end of the world, 2012. Do what you need to do this year because it's all coming to an end. The Roy Show came to Bachelor and shared some information on a group known as Invisible Children. This group's goal is to stop the civil war in Uganda and to rescue the children soldiers who were taken captive by Joseph Kony and his rebel army. Here's an interview. How has being a roadie affected your life? Being a roadie has affected my life in more ways than one, more than I can even count. Um, in addition to just being able to serve a purpose that is so much larger than myself, and really being able to be involved with something that is just monumentally huge, I've realized the byproducts of it too. So obviously we're working to end a war, but it's so cool too to see students who are I mean, as young as 10 years old, all, younger even, all the way to college and then beyond that, really working for peace for a region that they've never been to and for people that they've never met. So that's absolutely incredible. And then sort of kind of like on a different note, I've met some of my best friends through Invisible Children and I've been on the road with some of the people that I know for a fact will be in my wedding. I mean, these are just people who I've bonded with over you know, a, a unique experience that we're both sharing and it's just been really an incredible opportunity to get to know some people that have just changed my life. What are your hopes for Invisible Children? That's a good question. Um, I hope Invisible Children never has to work ever again. Um, it's kind of a weird way to put it, but we want to make sure that we never have to do a tour like this ever again. That we can and this war permanently create a peace in the region that's lasting and sustainable, and then also not ha you know not have it happen again. Our goal is to put ourselves out of a job, um, and I think there's there's always going to be an invisible children because we're always going to want to uh, you know focus on a new mission if you know because there are lots of issues in the world, um, but that's so far down the line. I think. My biggest hope now is that in 2012 we bring Joseph Coney to justice and that he is arrested and tried for his crimes and then after that, who knows, but hopefully the hope is to never have to, never have to work to end another war. Thank you. And now here's Shelby and DJ with sports. Hey, I'm Shelby. And I'm DJ. And this, and this is, is your, your Friday, Friday morning, morning sportscast. sportscast. The Bulldogs showed their Bulldog pride in the Swimming County Tournament this week. And here is an interview with Swimmer Mari. How has your team improved this season? We've improved on flip turns and starts and all of our strokes, like a lot. What's your personal goal? My personal goal is to get state and 50 backstroke, which I'm less than a second away from now. So, um, yeah. Why do you like swimming here at Bachelor? I like swimming because it's like you don't like you're not forcing anyone to do anything, and they can sort of go at their own level and they can go at their own pace and you don't have to like push them too hard. Girls basketball had their tournament this week too. They beat the Jaguars but fell short on Tuesday against the Colts. The final score was 27 to 30. Here's some highlights from the game. <laughs> Ended their season well, beating Jackson Creek and Tri North. They got second in the tournament. 
Here's an interview with Liam. Hey. What do you like about wrestling here at Bachelor? Well, wrestling is a fun sport that helps us both mentally and physically, and our coaches are very good. What was your favorite meet and why? Um, my favorite meet was probably the Super 10 Invitational because I think that I personally and our whole team um, learned the most from wrestling better wrestlers. This, this has, has been, been your Friday, Friday morning sportscast. Sports and now to Liam and Leah with the feature. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Liam. And this is your Friday morning feature. We all know spring break is coming up soon. And we want to know if you're going anywhere cool, because these people are. Hi, I'm John, and I'm going to the Bahamas on a Disney cruise. Hi, I'm Sharice, and I'm going to Marco Island, Florida. Hi, I'm Kylie, and I'm going to Kentucky. Hi, I'm Olivia, and I'm going to Cape San Blas, Florida. Hi, I'm Megan, and I'm going to Pensacola, Florida. Hi, I'm Tanner, and I'm going to Panama City Beach, Florida. Those are some of your Friday morning sports Those are some interesting places. Are you going anywhere for spring break? Yeah, I'm going to Indy to, for my sister's birthday and my brother's basketball tournament. That's cool. So where are you going for spring break? I'm going to New York to see some relatives. Sounds great. Now, so here's Trey with the trivia. Hi, I'm Trey, and this is your Friday morning trivia. Today's question is, who scored the most points in the single NBA game, and how many points did they score? Again, who scored the most points in the single NBA game, and how many points did they score? Turn your answer into 220. Mr. Rickensburg. Signing off.